Can he do this for 12 rounds? That's the question. But Kelly is a much better defensive fighter as I've been than he looks to be two in seconds. But he has never been that great with technical type fighters. First round he did. That's what he did win the first. Good left hook by Hopkins. Havlick so far has been pretty much relegated to one punch at a time. Havlick's opportunities to find Hopkins have been few and far between. And Havlick's legs are stiffened by a Hopkins uppercut. And he comes forward looking for more. This is what I said. Bernard Hopkins has, again beats him to the punch. Bernard is getting a little bit more respect. Here you see Bernard land a left hook where he basically he made the body motion as if he was going to throw a jab right up in the high area of the head and comes back with a left punch right up between the gloves. That's the punch I think that did damage to Kelly's right eye. Camp, his trainer Jack Rose said it would be a tough fight for six rounds. This threatens to be the third consecutive round. 30 to 27, Bernard Hopkins. I think it's amazing. I got to tell you. It's Davis as they were wrestling. At age 43. And now Hopkins moves laterally and once again confuses Pavlik and beats him. Bernard doing which is one of his favorite things. Landing those clean little shots as the guy's coming in. Even though his volume is going down. Pavlik hasn't even landed a solid body shot. Good right hand by Hopkins. And the left hook by Bernard as well. Curious is the chemistry of boxing. Watching these two guys now into the fifth round. You would think to yourself, there's no way that Hopkins is the guy who lost twice to Jermaine Taylor. Now Pavlik lands the jab and gets in a left hand. Hopkins has gone over nine rounds 24 times. 12 rounds against Joe. Yep, and I haven't saw him get hit with a solid punch yet. Six to nothing, Hopkins. I have it. 5-1, I gave the last round to Pavlik. Well, by CompuBox numbers, last round was the first in which Pavlik out threw and outlanded Hopkins. Bernard, Bernard is having a picnic in that round, and it seems like mentally he's getting recharged now. He still has the faster hands. Yep. He still dominates the center of the ring. He's still ripping Pavlik in domination and putting him on the defensive. Here you see Bernard just having fun now, a little short right hand leads, doing things I've never seen because normally he was always a single one punch guy. What a show by Hopkins and another good left hook. Measure as if it isn't enough for Hopkins to have won every round. Now he gets an extra point on the scorecard. His hand speed is too fast, punch and pound. You never know what can happen as the fight goes on, but right now, a win by which, or for which he was favored, George Foreman's knockout victory over Michael Moore in November 5, 1994 to gain the legitimate championship. What a clean fight in every way. Pick up the clock, so to say, by some other with his short punches. He figured Kelly has to have a little loop room, so now he's changing strategies now. This is a damaging blow to the image of the younger generation. Pavlik gets ripped by a right hand, staggered in the center of the ring. Question is, can Pavlik make it to the finish line? And it's fought for four 12 rounds and a fight who's a big underdog, youth, everything. Unbelievable. Look at the difference in hand Look speed. Up. What would it like to you hear someone say to Bernard knocks on out in the first round? He said, I don't do things like that. How many electoral votes did Hopkins gather? Almost all of them. Yeah.